This video will show you how to use tables in Component Studio. We're going to go ahead and add a table to this existing card. Uh, there's not much here yet, but you'll see we'll add some things very quickly with the table. We'll call this the stats table. And let's just make it 200, 200. And I think we're only going to need two rows for this one. OK. Let's start by giving our table some content. We're going to put some labels up here. So first, we'll add a text. And we'll call this one hit points. And then uh, we'll add another one, next column over. And we'll call this one strength. And then we'll add one more. And for this one, we'll call it mana. And you can format these just like you would any other text area. So for example, if I want to center it within the cell, I can just do that. And let's go ahead and do that for each of these. OK, we'll want to go ahead and actually put some values in down below that. So uh, let's go in and add another one. Uh, let's go back to column one and go here. And so now we're putting some text down here. And again, we'll move those in. And this time, we're going to put a variable in there. So we'll grab the HP variable and throw that in there. And could close that one up. And we'll go ahead and add another one. And you'll note that uh, as we're adding these here, it's using Cartesian coordinates. So the upper left corner here is 0, 0. And then it would be 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 2. So let's go ahead and grab the strength variable, and we'll throw that in here. And you can see how easy it is to just very quickly whip up a table using Component Studio. So we'll add another text block here, and we'll go ahead and throw in our last stat right here, like so. All right, so we have a table that quickly. And of course, if we want to move the table around, we can do that very easily. We just go up here to the table, and maybe we want to push it down a little bit. So we'll make it go to 500 instead of 200. And so now you can see that it's down there. So we can move it around very easily, and we can manipulate it as well. So for example, maybe I want to go to a fourth column. And let's just make that last column a little bit smaller, but we'll spread out all the rest of these. So I'm going to go under the Advanced tab here, and we're going to go for column sizing from equal to manual. And so in here, I'm going to actually just put in 0, 0, 0. That's ensuring that anything where you put a 0 or blank, it's just going to be equal to, it's going to divide that space equally. Uh, and then I want to set a specific amount for the actual final column. So let's go ahead and make that last one, I don't know, let's say 100. There. So that's pretty cool. We can adjust the size of our individual columns there. Let's do something in this, uh, in this space over here. We can put in a, a special ability icon, let's say. We'll throw it right in this little space here. So I'm going to go over here, do image, and we're going to go into the last column, and we'll throw in the image here. So if I grab the ability image, um, I forgot to hit add up here. There we go. So now I can go ahead and paste that ability image right in there, and it's putting the image right into the table. Now, what's making this happen 
is that we have these the special function here cell X and cell Y let me show you in a text area it's a little easier so we have these right here cell X and cell Y you have the name of the table that you're gonna pull from and which cell that you want to position this into cell X and cell Y you also have cell width and cell height and that's how you're automatically positioning these elements right in here is that when we hit this up here it's gonna automatically when we hit this it automatically fills in the values for the content that goes into these cells and in that way you can make tables very very quickly you can also manipulate how the tables look if you like so for example I can have no border uh, if I don't want to I could just put in inner borders that sort of thing um, I could just put in a, a row like so uh, I of course can change the color so maybe if I wanted that to be red I could make it red and if I want to make it thicker we could do that and we can also change the amount of padding that is in between each cell so right now I have uh, these I have 10 I could make that zero and there would be a little less padding. I could make it bigger. Like so. And if you want to see the padding, even though you're setting up your borders a specific way, you can actually turn on the outlines. And then you'll see what actually everything is looking like. So if I set this down to zero, you'll see that you only have the cells there. And then if you set it up to 10, you'll see where the padding actually exists in each of these cells. Perhaps the best thing about using tables in Component Studio is just like everything else in Component Studio, when you design one thing, you're actually designing everything else. So for example, we've designed this necromancer, but we've also designed this rat and this zombie. So that is tables in Component Studio. Thanks for watching.